and this isn't, you know, we know what, what the real answer is. It, it has to do with taking a toxic waste and filtering it through our public water supply. And it has nothing to do with our health. Even if that was the reason they were doing it, that's not the real reason. The real reason is to get rid of this toxic waste so they don't have to dispose of it properly. And, and 28 so studies now confirm that. Exactly. And then on top of that, we have the Harvard study published that looked at those 28 studies. So yep. another couple things that I just wanted to show everybody out there, and you might not even know about this, and we carry another product called the Life Straw. And uh, you can get it overhead shot there. And this little puppy, you basically just put it, you open it up just like that, pull that out, and you stick one piece in, there's your filter, and you suck the water out just like that. And it'll filter it out. It's better than nothing if you're in an emergency situation. Well, it's actually great. I mean, yeah. if you think about it as well, people are drinking well water. And uh, if you go to findaspring.com, also you can see if there's a well in your area, if you can't afford a filtration device, but maybe you can buy the life straw because sure, you're getting well water and it might not have fluoride in it, but it's great to get out that bacteria and everything like that. So anything is better than nothing, honestly. I mean, exactly. if, if you could just get the life straw or, you know, a pro pure system, it will benefit you immensely. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, and it's better to be prepared and do it now because it leads to health problems down the line. Um, I've got several members of my family, they actually went to the doctor and the doctor said, how much water do you drink? And they answered and they said, well, it sounds like you're getting too much fluoride. I've never, uh, and, and I, I don't even want to say what family member this is, but I got a call yeah. from them saying, hey, how did you know about fluoride? I said, well, you know, I saw a World Net Daily article one day about, about fluoride in the water and there's nothing to worry about. And basically what I did was research on this. I found so much information and, and put it in a l really long article, went out, of, I think, in 2009. So I've been studying this since 2009 really heavily. I knew about it before that fluoride wasn't good for you, but until I did the research and saw the numbers, and one of the things that freaked me out the most was that these books that were saying, you know, for community, we want between one to 2.3, I think, parts per million in the community water supplies. In the schools, we're looking for 4.5 to 6.5 parts per million. That's what they wanted to put in the water. And this is back in 92, not yeah, too long and, ago. And the toothpaste and the fluoride pills. Uh, and they're now they're talking about banning bottled water because people don't get enough fluoride. On Wikipedia, actually, we've done it. We've done our best to continue editing it. Mm -hmm. If you go to Wikipedia and you look up bottled water, uh, there's previous entries that say that there's a major concern about bottled water, that kids aren't getting enough fluoride and they're fluoride deficient. Um, so, I mean, if you if you thought Wikipedia had any real credibility from the right. community, that's just an answer right there. It, it's corporate credibility is what they're looking for there. And and kids are the worst. They respond to it worse than anybody else. It, it really hits the kids hard. Uh, I've got two kids, and they're drinking fluoride-free water right now. And before that, we were putting bottled water through the filter just to get the plastic out of it. So... You know, I'm doing what I can. Yeah. Everybody needs to do what they can out there. And I tell you what, this this bad boy right there, that ProPure system, that is going to be the mainstay in my house. The other filter is going to be back up. And I like it because it's drip. It's not forcing the water through. Yeah. It just it just slowly drips through, and you can even hear it dripping. And, you know, that's pure water that's coming out of there. You can taste the difference. You put that up against tap water any day. I'd put it up against bottled water any day. Yeah, I mean, do your own test, too. Uh, yeah. It's definitely a system that I would highly recommend. And also, uh, just because you don't see this gunk coming out of your filter doesn't mean it's not in there. I, I, I'm also going to do another video taking apart the filters. You take apart your filter, there's some disgusting stuff in there. I've had emails coming in, just tens and tens of emails per, like, 30 minutes, you know, hundreds a day mm -hmm. of these people saying, I do, I have distilled water and here's the bottom of my cup. And it's just, it looks even worse than mine, honestly. God. So it's not like this is an isolated case. This may be a high quality water filtration system. And I do have some custom stuff on it that can, you know, push stuff out of it, but it's also in your filters. It doesn't mean that it's not working if you don't see this. This is just an interesting experience in which we can actually look at what we're drinking. Yeah, and, and guys, if you could back that up back to the MSDS and just hold it there for a second, people really need to see. And, you know, they're just showing the hidden camera footage. We were not allowed to videotape the fluoride plant there, but I just so held the camera down to, to my side. Yeah, exactly. They don't want people to see the truth. There I it mean, is. it's a public water uh, water supply area. Oh, Why I know. Can't you... I sh yeah, our tax money pays for it. But here we go. Life-threatening major or permanent damage may result from a single or repeat repeated exposure. So there you go. 
That's what you're getting with fluoride, and that's in the concentrated form that they carry in tanker trucks across the United States, mainly from Florida, or they import it from China when they can't get enough here. And they put that in your water supply, and people just need to come to grips with reality and realize that it's a poison and that it needs to come out. I mean, that's it. it, it it's, there's really no more debate about the issue, and we shouldn't even have to be talking about this right now. Oh, I mean, it's, it's, it's mostly from China as well. And look at um, just a few days ago. Uh, hundreds of different Chinese officials making the drugs for the United States went to jail because they just were putting garbage in it. And that's a huge issue now that people taking drugs and other substances that are just fake or loaded with heavy metals or chlorine and stuff like that. It's just Google fluoride toxic and go to images. There's a there's an image. It's on your site too on Infowars. You can mm -hmm. just fluoride toxic Infowars. Uh, there's a bag. It says so. It says sodium fluoride with a big skull on it, yeah. and that's a real shot. Yeah. No, it's poison. It, it's it was uh, roach poison. It's also rat poison. You can use it to kill things with. That doesn't mean you should drink it. Definitely not. As low as one parts per million as well. Oh, it's so disgusting. Um, what, one last little product here. Um, since we're talking about preparedness and, and you know having the things we need to keep ourselves self-sufficient and healthy, here's an interesting little thing that I don't think anybody's seen on camera yet. It's called the pocket socket. And you turn this thing around, you can charge your cell phone, charge a computer. I guess if you had enough people turning it, uh, you got to get two revelations Per two cranks per second, you get 10 watts at 120 volts DC, and it's a pretty robust unit. It looks like you could turn this thing for hours and well, get the power. I think that would go with the need. life straw. Both are, don't require any power, and in an emergency situation, that would be pretty useful. Also, iodine, if possible, uh -huh. um, can really help fluoride. Um, toxicity and poisoning, nascent iodine um, or anything like that will really help you out for sure. And that's the thing, that's the kind of information that is useful and that's the kind of information you put out, it's the kind of information we try to put out in addition to all the political stuff. We do have a, a strong concern for the healthy body uh, maintaining that out there because that's, that's the key. If you're not healthy in your body and you're not healthy in your mind, you'll fall for anything, you'll be one of the slaves, you will gladly sit in front of the TV and waste your life away. And, um, you know, you're just not going to be part of the revolution because we're the revolution of ideas yep. and, and of practices that are going to get us out of this dark age because eventually fluoridation is going to stop. It's not too far down the line. They could keep putting stuff out there. I saw another, you know, bashing uh, people who were against fluoridation article, and it just makes me sick. These people are in such denial. But it's ending. It's going to end very soon, I think. I think we got five years, and it'll be oh, yeah, gone out but, of the United uh, States. Believe it or not, there is actually information confirming what you just said. If your bacteria um, routine is messed up in your stomach, if you have too much bad bacteria, it'll cause mental illness. That's actually a peer-reviewed research in, from PubMed that if you're sitting there eating garbage all day or drinking acidic water with bad bacteria and heavy metals, your gut balance is going to get so messed up that mental illness will occur. It'll lower your IQ. It'll make you literally go insane. It makes you, that's, that's what they're saying now, schizophrenia is linked to all this. And if you get good bacteria in the gut through probiotics, everything like that, it'll assist you massively. And then, you know, you say that and you talk about uh, they're giving you propaganda against anti-fluoride people. Watch TV. Every single show, specifically cop shows, there's always some kooky guy, and you know he has all these crazy ideas. And the one I was just watching, he was saying something like fluoride is bad, and you know we should start eating healthy vegan. They were like, ha, ha, look at this idiot, you know. As they're drinking tap water, you know. Yeah, of course, the, these people are so crazy. Most of those actors, they don't believe the BS they're spewing. They no. actually know because they have the money to to pay for this stuff, so they're drinking pure water from. Half halfway around the earth, you know, and yeah, none of them drink tap water. No, even even no. the horribly overweight and unhealthy ones. Yeah, it's 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 considered like a low class status. It's just it's the it's the dirtiest water you can possibly have. Yeah, and the fluoride, the water that they peddle to kids. Oh, now with more fluoride. Oh man, it's just yeah, so disgusting. Don't buy Nestle brand water bottles. No, exactly. A lot of them are loaded up with fluoride, and they say, and it's in the commercial like now with extra fluoride. Yeah. And yeah. for your poison, yeah, extra yeah. poison to keep you stupid. Anthony, I appreciate you coming on short notice. I love the video. I caught it yesterday. I, I took a weekend trip, and when I got back into town, I saw that video. It was the first thing I watched, and I'm like, man, that is pure disgusting. And yeah. thanks for putting it out there because people really do need to see what the heck is in their water, you know, because then they'll, they'll make those changes. It's those types of things that are going to make people go, wait a minute. Yeah, you know, I, gotta, I, I really hope it disgusts people, honestly, because it'll make them change their mind. You know, if they see some video of me talking for 45 minutes, a lot of people don't care. Right. They see that, though, 
yeah, that's it, gonna change. It's a mind. minute. It's a minute. It's a little information nugget, and we need more of those out there. What's what's coming up with Natural Society? What are you guys working on this week? Well, if you see behind me, uh, this is a short notice, as you mentioned, but I'm actually building a, a full-fledged studio, and we're going to do a lot more reports on, on water and everything like that and show you a lot of visuals, very short videos. Yeah, something I'm really interested in have been covering, actually broke the story on August 1st, is the 2045 program, uh, which is essentially a program launched by a Russian scientist to give the wealthy elite, really only people who back him with millions and millions of dollars, artificial bodies by uh, 2015, and then ultimately they want to have some type of a singularity project in which everyone has artificial brains and artificial bodies by 2045. Of course, it's only the wealthy elite who have this, and he's, he's saying that they'll be quote-unquote immortal. And it sounds insane, but it's actually getting a lot of backing and a lot of media and financial help. So it's it's definitely something to watch, and it's something extremely concerning because it threatens our humanity as an entire species. So definitely, when you have elites that can live forever, then they don't have to reteach their tricks to their young younglings. And uh, oh God! And get can this: guess what controls the body? An RFID chip. Oh. How how nice! Well, then they can track you wherever you want to go, and I guess just cut it off if you if you don't play by the rules at that well, point. Well, it essentially links to a supercomputer, and then mm. your quote unquote artificial brain. All this sounds crazy, by the way, but just look it up. I mean, it's yeah. it's it's on NBC. Um, it, this RFID chip will link to the supercomputer, which will then give uh, signals to your artificial brain to control your artificial body. So you're not even a human anymore. You're essentially controlled by this system that just controls you as a whole. That is ultra creepy. Well, thanks for yeah. coming on today. Appreciate it. Looking forward to your, your new videos on what comes out of your water filter. And everybody should be shooting that all over the country and putting it out there to educate more people. Thanks a lot for having me. Appreciate all right. It. Well, and that's our show for today. I just want to give you a quick recap. Here is our ProPure King model that we do sell at InfoWars.com. We have several different models. This happens to be the brushed, or brushed stainless steel. almost said aluminum. It's not aluminum. Stainless steel. It's got a little glass uh, reservoir. You can tell how much water's in there. I got the fluoride filters and the regular filters with mine. That's the main one in our house. The pocket socket. Very cool little item for, you know, you need to charge your iPod, you're out in the middle of nowhere, well, there you go. Five minutes later, your iPod's charged. It also build up that right arm strength. And uh, the life straw for those times when you really need a drink of water and you don't have filtered water anywhere, say you're in the middle of a stream or a pond. Read the manual. It's not very, not very big. Check it out. You can keep that in a backpack in your uh, bug out bag. Very cool products. Because what it's all about is getting prepared because, as we talked about earlier, the banks are, they're making plans for a collapse. And when the banks collapse again, it's going to be hard times for a while. So we're all going to have to band together. We're going to have to communicate with each other, set up those modes of communication to keep the information flowing because that's what it's all about. So thanks to Anthony Gucciardi of Natural Society. Thanks to the crew out there working really hard. Uh, they gave me a three-day weekend. I got to leave on Thursday night and get out of town. I had a real good time with my family. So, And do that with your family out there. Go out and spend some time with your family. And uh, don't sit around and watch YouTube videos all day. Or definitely don't watch the mainstream media all day because you will get brainwashed. That's our show. Remember to get that Prison Planet TV membership if you are watching this on YouTube right now. Just uh, type in prisonplanet.tv. Uh, we have a 15-day free trial. About five ninety five a month it supports everything we do here, and we surely do appreciate it. And with that, I'm Rob Dew signing off. Till next time.